back again. I have finished project to show you. So this is from Globeland. And if you remember back when I did that video, you get two sets of these. So again, it would be awesome if you have a friend come over or for a kid's birthday party, they could each get their own critter and put the beads on the critter. So this is the first one that's done. Now we're gonna have a little debate about this. Leave me a comment down below if, as to what you think this is. This is a nose, these are the eyes. I think it's a hedgehog, very colorful one at that. Or it could be like one of the pill bugs. I don't know. So tell me what you think it is. And they are double-sided and they turned out super cute. And then we have the snail. How sparkly. So sparkly. Two-sided. And we have the ladybug, which is my favorite, of course. Look at the sparkle. It's so cool. So cool. And then we have our bee. He's not quite done yet, so I thought I would work with on him with you. Just finish up these few drills here. But this was a really fun kit. It takes about maybe an hour, 45 minutes to do each bug. And of course, a lot of that time is getting the drills in line. Because it does take a little bit more effort when you're using this tray. But I do really like this tray a lot. There's a black one in there that doesn't belong. Get off. Okay. There's wings done. Let me go ahead and finish his or her eyes. And I am, you can't see what I'm doing. I am using a four placer, which helps things go a little bit quicker. Just a little tricky when you've got the curved sections that you need to just kind of turn the pin with you and if you need to push it down all you gotta do is just slide it a little bit whoops Now we just have to do the eyes, the whites of the eyes. So you can see once you get a thin layer of drills in here. They line up a lot easier than when if you have too many. So keep that in mind when you're using this tray that you don't want to put a whole lot of drills in the tray because it'll be harder for you to get them lined up in the ridges. Just have a couple more to do. All right. So here is the B. Whoops. Here is the 
is our little bee friend. And I did the other side. Oh my goodness, why am I all of a sudden dropping him? I love how sparkly they are. They're super cute. Just see a few little edges there of where you can see the number where I didn't get it put in the exact the right place. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about what I use to seal these kind of projects, so I wanted to show you that. This right here is what I buy to spray over the adhesive on the keychains and bookmarks and books, whatever I need to spray. This is what I use, Krylon Clear, gray, clear Glaze, triple thick. Now, you have to be careful when you're using this because keep in mind, anything you put over top of the drills is going to dull the shine. Now you would think, duh, it's crystal clear glaze going on top of colored. You're gonna see the color, it's gonna be just fine. It'll just be shiny. No, because what happens is the glaze rounds off the facets in the drills. So it takes away, like in a diamond, you know how diamonds have all those cuts? Well, fat, that's what the drills have. They have those little cuts. And all the, if you cover up those little cuts and round them off, take some of the shimmer away. Now it'll still be sparkly because you've got clear glaze and metallic backings, but it won't have the exact same shine as a naked, <laughs> naked piece. But they do need to have something because there's a lot of adhesive exposed still because this is just one, one sheet of double stick plus double stick adhesive. Um, it's not screen printed on, it's, well, it's, anyway, I don't know the exact process, but there's still adhesive exposed. So you take, and I will not do this in the house, it, in the garage or outside. Um, you just wanna do a quick spray Keep it moving, don't stop in one spot because that will, it will pull and then that area there will not be as shiny anymore. Once the, one side is dry, do the other side. Again, quick, light spray, that's all you need and that's all you're gonna do to these pieces. And all you're, do, all you're wanting to do, I mean, is cover up that adhesive. There's nothing to really seal, use to seal. You can use this, this to seal spray nice and thick coats, but you're not gonna have the same sparkle as you do without the thick coat. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So anyway, I'm gonna link, leave the description in the, the link. <laughs> it's been a long day. Thanks, Sam. I will leave the link in the description. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> All right, so I also want to show you, there are a few drills left in the bags, but for the most part, this is how much I have left. Let me bend you down. This is how much that is left from one kit. So you have plenty of drills to get you through the kit. And if you remember, there is a second one of these. So like I said at the beginning, this would make a really cute, if you have a small birthday party, eight girls or boys, eight kids, because this is definitely not a girl only. And since they're bugs, the boys would like them too. But this is, if you have like an eight person birthday party, give each one of them, you know, the bug and put eight trays out, or not eight trays, six trays out, one for each color and let them share the drills. So I think that would be an awesome, awesome, awesome birthday party. So that is it. We'll look at them one more time. We have our bumblebee. We have our pillbug hedgehog. We have the snail. And we have the ladybug. So again, I apologize for taking so long to show you things. I really am gonna try to do better with that. It's just, 
I have trouble with that. So anyway, thanks for being here. I'll see you again so very soon. And make sure you leave me a comment down below what you think. If you use something different other than this, let us know in the comments. And uh, we can all try out different things. So I'll see you soon. I love you.